Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain the basic concepts of projections of points. First let us see the introduction part. The point is a basic element of any object. Let us consider a three dimensional solid as an example. We know that solid is formed by three dimensions. When one of the dimension of the solid is changed to zero, the solid will become a two dimensional plane. Out of the two dimensions of the plane, if one more dimension is reduced, it will become one dimensional line. If that one dimension of the line is also removed, the line will become a point. Now let us consider the 3D representation of a quadrant diagram. It has got both horizontal and vertical planes. When we view this 3D representation diagram from Z-axis direction, it will become a 2D representation diagram with four quadrants. Now let us see the possible locations of a point with respect to the principal plane. In the first case, the point may be considered to be located in any one of the four quadrants. Second case, the point may be located in any one of the reference planes. And the third case, the point may be located in both the reference planes. Now, we will move on to the first case, location of a point in any one of the four quadrants. First, let us consider point capital A, which is in first quadrant. To locate the point A, which is in first quadrant, we need above distance from horizontal plane and in front of distance from vertical plane. Now, we will consider another point B, which is in second quadrant. To locate or to represent point B, which is in second quadrant, we need above distance from horizontal plane and behind distance from vertical plane. Now we will consider another point which is located in third quadrant. To locate this point C, which is in third quadrant, we need below distance from horizontal plane and behind distance from vertical plane. Now let us consider another point which is in the fourth quadrant. So in this case, to locate or to represent point D which is in fourth quadrant, we need below distance from horizontal plane and in front of distance from vertical plane. Now let us move on to the second case. Location of a point in any one of the two reference planes. Let us consider point E which is located in vertical plane. Here to locate or to represent the point E, we need only above distance from horizontal plane. Since it is located in vertical plane, the in front of or behind distance becomes 0. Now let us see another point capital F which is located in vertical plane. To locate this point, we need below distance from horizontal plane, but the behind or in front of distance from vertical plane becomes zero. Now let us consider another point, capital G, which is located in the horizontal plane. In this case, we need only the in front of distance from vertical plane, but the above distance or below distance from horizontal plane becomes zero. Let's consider another point capital H which is located in horizontal plane. In this case, the above distance from horizontal plane or below distance from horizontal plane becomes zero but we need only the behind distance from vertical plane. Now we will move on to the third category that is a point located in both the reference plane. So in this case, if you see the 3D representation diagram, the point is located in the XY line itself. Then only it can be shared by all the four quadrants. So if you represent the same point in 2D representation diagram, it will be located exactly in the origin. Now we will see the system of notation. The actual points in space are denoted by capital letters like capital A, B, C, D, etc. 
and the front views of these points A, B, C, D need to be represented using the corresponding lowercase letters that is small letter A dash, B dash, C dash, etc. And the top views of the capital letter A, B, C, D points are represented using the corresponding lowercase letters small a, b, c and d. The projectors which are connecting the front view points with top view points. For example, the line which connects a dash and a should be drawn only with 2H pencil. The points need to be represented either using H pencil or HP pencil. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video and give your comments and also don't forget to subscribe this channel.